We begin with News Channel 5's Hannah McDonald live in Mayfield, Kentucky. Services for the victims are starting tonight in Mayfield. Hannah, services for some of those victims happen today, but this has to be challenging to plan a funeral in the middle of all this. On top of the emotions, Vicki, the logistics are challenging too. Many of these roads are impassable, so how do you have a procession? And one of the funeral homes we visited today only got running water back within the last day, making embalming pretty difficult. However, one thing that these victims and their families are not having to worry about too much are costs. They're getting a lot of help. She brought it up, you know, finances, and I said, don't worry, it will be taken care of. Giving good news is not something this funeral director in Mayfield expected to be doing after days filled with mostly sadness. We did have an Amish family that where the mother, father, and two small children were killed. Uh, you know, that we do assist them. But Brown Funeral Home can say now, not only is Kentucky giving $5,000 in relief money to families for funerals, businesses are pledging money too. Anybody that perished that wants a funeral, obviously he's gonna be able to have a very nice funeral. I don't know if, if, if he knew what I mean, included his profession was his calling. A service for Alonzo Daniels' brother, 47-year-old Robert, will happen Saturday. The sheriff's deputy died in the tornado. According to his son, he was protecting seven inmates who were working down this street at the candle factory. Hero of mine, so he was saving people, and, then, and that happened to him by saving somebody else. What better place for it to be? It's a symbol of hope. It's a symbol of reverence. On Tuesday, this American flag that flew in New York after 9-11 was brought to Brown Funeral Home where Daniel's body is. It's an honor to be able to bring this flag here, not just for this fallen uh, deputy jailer, but for this entire community. And Deputy Daniel's family says they will share that honor with the city that's built just like the man. Think about Mayfield and, and we're strong. We're, we're strong people. We, we, we're going to, we will bounce back. And, you know, that's the thing about my brother. He was, a, he was, not only was he a strong man physically, he was a strong man mentally as well. The building behind me is the Graves County Courthouse where Robert Daniel spent most of his time. And not only here in Mayfield are hearts heavy, they're heavy also in Bowling Green where News Channel 5's Chris Davis is. And tonight he remembers two families who lost so many.